Okay, there's um there's a lot more to if statements, so let's take a look here at what we can do with if statements. Um, let's start off with an example here where we are going to ask the user whether they own an iPhone or an Android. Or Samsung, I guess, is probably more appropriate. So I'll, I'll, I'll make a variable called phone equals. I want the user to enter um, the type of phone that they're using, an iPhone or a Samsung. And so I'm going to put it. I'm going to use the input function that lets the user enter a value. Uh, and I'll just ask, do you own an iPhone or a Samsung, right? I think those are the most popular choices. So it's either between those two. Now, I'm going to run this. And I'm going to first save this. So I am saving this under my tutorials. So I go to documents. And I do have Python tutorials here. And we're in selection, and I'll just call this and or. And so it's actually right here waiting, and I, I can put Samsung, right? The Samsung is the better phone. I don't know how you guys do with iPhones. I'll put a space there to make sure that when I put Samsung, it automatically gives me a space there. Now, um, because either of those two are the more popular choices, I'm just going to say that if they, whether the user enters iPhone or Samsung, I'm going to print, I'm going to print something like a cool phone bra. Isn't that how you guys, isn't bra like a thing now? I don't know. Um, or gal, because you might not be a bro. I don't know. I'll put here, cool phone. And I only want to print this if the user enters iPhone or Samsung, because what if they don't own a Samsung or an iPhone? I think there's other phones. I don't know, the Google, I think Pixel, is that is that one that's out there? I really don't know. You probably know more than I do, but I'm going to use an if statement here. If phone, meaning the variable, has a value equals equals um, iPhone or and that's what we're learning here this or condition phone equals equals um, Samsung then and then place the colon there at the end press enter and notice how it indents for me automatically then print cool phone so I only want to print cool phone if phone, the variable, has the value of iPhone or, and that's what the or condition means, if phone has a value of Samsung. Meaning one of these conditions, this condition can be true, or if this condition is true, then print cool phone. If neither are true, so if phone is not an iPhone and it's not a Samsung, then this should not print at all. So I'm talking about the or condition. The or condition basically makes it so that one of the two conditions, this condition or this what we call Boolean expression, um, either that one is true or this one is true. But you only require one of the two conditions to be true. And if that is the case, then we're going to print cool phone. Now, in this case, only one of the two can be true because phone can either be an iPhone or a Samsung or something else, but it cannot be both Samsung or iPhone. There's just no way. So let me run this. Notice how it places a space there, which is why I put a space here. And my cursor is there blinking, waiting for me to type something. So I'll put here iPhone. And it prints cool phone. I'm going to run it one more time. I want to test also Samsung. Print cool phone. I'm going to run it one more time because I want you to see something here. What if I put iPhone, but I don't capitalize the P? Well, that's the thing about strings. These are strings. Everything in double quotes is a string. Strings are compared, and they're compared to see if they're identical. And right here, phone, the variable was given a value of iPhone, uh, but without a capital P. And... Because there is no capital P, the 
uh, this is not a true condition right there. Phone equal to iPhone is not a true condition because this is an uppercase P. And strings are compared to see if they're identical. Uppercase, lowercase, everything. Which means that if I do the following, if I put iPhone with a capital P and then space and I press enter, I still don't get cool phone because what I've stored in phone in the variable when I entered it here is not just iPhone, but I stored the string iPhone with the space there. And now if I run it, for example, with that small change and I put iPhone and then place a space, now it does print cool phone. But if I run it one more time and I just put iPhone without the space at the end, it does not print cool phone because it's looking for that space there. So strings are compared for an exact match. If there is no exact match, then you're not going to get a true statement here. And let me run it one more time here and put another type of phone. I really don't know what kind of phones are out there. I just get a Samsung, but I think there's a Pixel or I think, I don't know. Notice how it doesn't print cool phone. And that's what if statements do. We put a print statement inside of the if statement so that it only prints if this is true, this, or if this is true. Now let me take it to another example here where we use a different type of um, uh, expression here. Operator, not expression. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the user for some information. I'm going to actually say is uh, dad equals input. And so I'm thinking of uh, something that I guess relates to me, maybe not you, but sometimes coming up with these examples is a little hard, So, which is weird, right? So are you a dad? With a space there and a question, okay. And then I also will put here this son. All right, input. Are you a son, which is true if you're a male. If you're a female, then you are. Uh, it would be, are you a daughter? But I'm not so much interested in the question itself, um, but rather what I'm going to do with these variables. So I'm going to say that if is that equals equals. Now, I'm trying to guess as to what the answer would be to this question. It would be yes or no. So I'm going to put if dad is equal to yes. And um, is son is equal to yes. Then I want to print you are a son and a dad. You know, it's, it's, I don't know, maybe it's quite simple example here. I don't know what term you guys use for it, but um, not the best example. But what I want to get across is this, and. And when you use if statements and you use this and operator to combine two expressions, the and requires that both this expression be true and this expression be true for me to print what's on line 15. Meaning they both have to be true. Both is that has to be yes, is son has to be yes, and the only that's the only way this will print. So if I run this, the first thing is, um, um, do you own an iPhone or a Samsung? And by the way, that is a question, uh, question, so I'll put a question mark there and run it again. And I'll put here iPhone. And then it prints cool phone, good. So it did that. Then it goes to this line, line 11. Are you a dad? And I'm, my answer is yes. Notice that if I put a capital Y, that does not match this. And it has to be a perfect match. 
So I'll put it with the lowercase y, yes, I am a dad. Are you a son? Well, obviously, yes, I have a father. And it prints you are a son and a dad. Now, if I run this one more time, um, again, Sam Sung. Who phone are say I you're not a dad, so I put no. Are you a son? Yes, and it does not print line 16 because although his son does equal yes, his dad does not equal yes. Instead, rather, it equals um, no right there. And so just a short glimpse as to what you can do with if statements because there's a lot more than just one having one expression. You can combine expressions with the or or with the and. And there can be more than one. For example, I could put here or phone equals equals. And I don't know what the other kind of phones I'll put here. Uh, I'll just call it Google because I think Google has a phone out, right? Meaning the only way I'm going to print cool phone is if phone is either an iPhone, a Samsung, or it is a Google. And right here, you could put here, uh, what kind of phone do you own? Instead, and now, um, if I put iPhone, it prints cool phone. If I put Samsung, it prints cool phone. Or if I put Google, it still prints cool phone. Only those three. If I put something else, like, I don't know, I think there was Nextel back in the day. I don't know if that was a service or an actual, I don't remember. But notice how it did not print cool phone. So one of these must be true. Um, and then the and condition requires that both of these statements be true. Both of them. So that's the only way. So if I, for example, if I do, uh, I don't know, whatever. And then are you a dad? Yes. Are you a son? No. Then it does not print line 16. So again, uh, just a glimpse here at what we can do with if statements. Um, hope, and then uh, you can use this to work on the next assignment.